Don't do that, dude. Um, I'm back now, and I'm with my best, bestest mate ever. Late is get late again as usual. Yeah, I know, but my, I had to put my clock back. I still like having me back to what an ex What an excuse. I still like having me back. You always gone forward. And we maintain social distancing. A distance that we need. <laughs> <laughs> me, it's Johnny Boy. Look at the tan, I'm looking good. Look, seriously, we're back on the garden. We got Lee over here having a cup of tea. Lee, big thumbs up. There we go. There's Lee over there. Customer's really happy with what Lee's done. Let's have a quick look at the garden. It's not a massive garden, but it's working perfectly for the people here, our clients. Got a nice path going down there. We got to put the contrasting slate, Brazilian black slate over there. This is the main area of the patio. We got to, we got to break this time. At some point, we've got to do the wall. We've actually got to render the wall. And we've got that nice little coping stone going all the way around. And look at the garden. The customer has started, our Tony has started putting some of the plants in. And you can see what's going to happen. It's just going to look beautiful. That's what's going to happen. Look at those plants. It's Johnny Boy. I'm back to annoy somebody and I'm back to please somebody. But look, we're back on this project. Seeing the customer this morning, he's more than happy. And he was more than happy that I went away. We had a break. We went on holiday like a lot of people do. And we had to do it. And I had to do it because my wife said, I had to do it. I have to do what my wife tells me. No, seriously, we're back here now. Have a look at this. Have a look at it. The customer, Tony here, is absolutely, I said before, he loves his plants and it's what I like. And already we want to start getting the plants in we haven't finished we haven't finished the rendering yet but we wanted to start getting the plants in because we didn't want them down in the pots and we wanted to just start getting them in the ground it doesn't make no difference on that side it's a big board have a look over here Lee it's a big wide board we've probably got about two and a half meters across there and it wraps around at the back of the decked area the decked area is done using a show sugi band or yaki sugi or thermal wood whatever you want to call it through here we're going to have some grass and we're going to have plants and pockets on each side and there is going to be a stepping stone path leading to the, the, the decked area but that stepping stone path is going to mirror the, the wall that we've put in over there on over here lee over here we've got this beautiful little ledge coming around but there is going to be a barbecue or a pizza oven on this side we've got a utility area on that side and we've got a path going all the way down here come over here lee come have a look let's jump over here Path coming out. Lee's put this, uh, he's cut all the contrasting slates for the either side of the path. And this numpty here, I haven't, there's a couple of these I haven't cut exactly centre, so we're gonna have to clean those off and uh, make sure we get to the right side. Always remember, they say measure twice, cut once. In my case, this measure make 15 times. No, seriously, um, Tony's got his glass house in place. You know, this is behind the garage, it's a perfect place for a utility area or for a greenhouse and it's just out of the way and it's tucked back nice and tidy over there so the path leads down to here and again there's going to be a planting pocket here it's so important that when you're landscaping if it was me i think the first thing that i would put in any garden is the plants it's just so important what do we do if we have a tree when it's, the sun's out we sit underneath it when it's raining we go underneath it when they're standard don't sit under a tree no i'm only joking look plants are important right the decked area on here looks absolutely fantastic and the washing line well we can talk about that again what am i doing that's what you're gonna ask isn't it that what you're doing John? okay okay that's good so what lee this is I, I, you well you know let's just explain to our viewers uh this is a ruby two in one all right it will actually cut okay it's, but it's not like those super thin blades that you have. You've seen the super thin blades, haven't you? Like, you know? And obviously you get the dry cut and then you also get the wet cut ones. This is a dry cut, but there are some dry cuts you can't use wet, but there are some dry cuts that you can use wet as well. So it's, you've got to start to understand what's out there, what's available, what you can use and what you can't do. And really the manufacturers or the people that you're buying from, they should be telling you that information. And they don't, do they? No, they don't. So this is a two in one area from Ruby. Okay, but what it'll do, it will cut. But if you look at that, you can actually see it's got this, this facility along there where what it will do, it'll actually grind and clean the face up and take any fragmentation. So let's just say, for instance, you've used a blade and I've done it. I've used a really cheap blade for cutting the porcelain. But what I'll do is I'll clean it up with this, but you've got to be really careful. Porcelain, it's not cheap and you can't mess around with it, can you? That's it. Lee, we've got to film this because we'll remember this day. Where are we, Lee? 
Yeah, and this this little coastline is just by the customer's house, isn't it? It's a bit dodgy walking along there, isn't it? Yeah. That's sketchy. If you were yeah. So I'm just thinking if three years time, four years time, twenty years time, when I when I'm twenty years time. If I'm still around. If I oh yeah. So here we've got this little contrasting uh, edge that we're going to be putting in. Lee's putting it in now. He's just putting some uh, primer slurry on the back, nice and thick on these corners. Uh, Lee, uh, you've got these. Are, can you just show us before you get out? Sorry to bother you, mate, but can you just show us where that's going to fit and and the angle? Yeah. So the paving comes up onto the wall, and we've got the paving parallel with the wall. So there we are. Lee's got this picture frame going in here. Look at that. And we'll put some more on. And so you've got a half bond here. Yeah, and a yeah. half bond. And half bond on, oh yeah, so, because this one is longer, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Right, so you've got the half bond right for this one as well? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fantastic, there we are, look. So, Lee's going to go all the way down, I'm going to leave Lee get on with that now, because it won't be fair otherwise. And it's going to go all the way along here, so we've got the contrasting edge, just like the patch over there. So, this path leads all the way down to the glass house. So, some people would say, Lee, that this was probably a bit excessive, path just for the glass house but you should have the path there you want it shouldn't you yeah yeah, yeah. so you're gonna put some more slurry on there i'm just checking <laughs> there he goes so look you can see that's why he's got it back out you can actually see how the mortar is stuck to the primus slurry and so that's how it, it adheres and it's not going to come up is it no thank you Lee. Great day to return back to work. British weather never lets us down. Look at that. Where they are getting ready. Oh, right. He's happy. He's going for a walk. Look at this. Come back off holiday, and I left a Scotch egg and a sausage roll in my van. Not good at all. Well, here we are. Lee got this in yesterday. Ryan could have got this in if he was here, but he's not here, but he is going to be returning. Look how neat that looks on there. Follows the angle of the uh, garage next door here, and then it goes all the way up. So there's the path, there's the patio. Now, we're going to be putting a stepping stone path somewhere through here, and the stepping stone path is going to mirror the shape of that wall. Lee got the tray in now, he's measuring the tray. This is the only one we could get this morning, Lee, and we only could get the, the plastic ones. Uh, and they're all right, but I think the good thing about this, Lee, is that when we have the grass, we'll explain it after, when we have the grass coming up on this, you're, because these, these bend sometimes a little bit, like, you know? Yeah. They do warp a little bit, but you won't see it with the grass, like, so. How are you, Lee, this morning? I'm good. Hmm. good. No airplane's gonna run over you with that top on, are they? Just checking this, you know, shut that old right down the pipe at the moment, but the water is old in, uh, and it's just so. This is the first time really we've been into this uh, chamber, and now it's starting to clean, isn't it? It's starting to clear now, but there was mud that was old from before, there's all sorts of rubbish in there. Like, you all got to always got to make sure that you check your manhole and show the customer before you actually start working around it so they can actually see that what's in there was there before you arrived. What are you doing, Jim? Hey, Lee. Um, well, we were just talking about how important it is to show your client the state of the manholes before you start work, isn't it? Yeah. So it's important that we make sure that we show them that because there's nothing worse. Contractors always get blamed for mortar or mud or rubbish going down the manholes when they're working around it. And with this manhole, it was quite dirty beforehand, wasn't it? Oh, uh, filthy. Yeah, yeah. and um, I don't think it was cement, but there was a real build-up. And I think, looking at this, the water is holding up. It's not running. It's not running clear. And I think that there's, there's potentially, not necessarily, a blockage further. And this is a foul line as well, so we're going to have to make sure we clean this pipe after. But I think there's not necessarily a blockage, but there is something actually holding up further on down. And this is middle of the road. 
So this chamber here, this foul is taken next door and it's going through to the neighbors over there. So we've got to make sure that um, this is clear, though it, it's not necessarily our responsibility, is it? But you've got to show willing avenue, like you know. So we may have to get our rods out and, and drain this, but um, I did explain this to our client yesterday before we took the top off and he come out and when we pulled the top off you could see that it was in a bit of a mess wasn't it so things were building up and it's if you look at the water inside there lean out you shouldn't be seeing water holding like that should you so it's clear now so, so because it's clear it is running away but it should be totally nothing in there should it so if you want to go back to my face now lee and i'll give a big smiling face because i'm going to annoy someone like that have a great day So Lee and I are moving this saw now because we've got a mark out for the path. We're going to get that saw shifted to one. So we've shifted that saw a few times now. And that was the leftover, wasn't it? Yeah. That was the leftovers from, from there. So anyway, so we're going to shift the saw. We're going to mark the path out for the stepping stone path. Well, at least cleared that area now and now we're going to mark out uh where the path's going to be the only thing is i can't find my tripod so i can't do any time lapse at the moment so i'll have to get another tripod he's got the spray paint now we're going to get the tape and we're going to we're going to mirror the shape of that wall for the stepping stone path and we've got to it's going to coincide is if that's the right word with that manhole so we're going to set this on time lapse and you'll be able to see lee at doing his best Give us a big smile, Lee. Ah, yeah. Well, there you go. For those who like time lapse, we did a bit of a time lapse then. And yes, the, it does look wonky because there's a hole there and we've gone bigger than what the width of the, the path is going to be. But you can actually see that's where we're going to dig and it's going to mirror the shape of that wall over there. So we're going to wait for Tony to come back and have a look at that and just check that with Tony. Then we're going to start digging that out and start thinking about getting our path in. But because we're going to have stepping stones, the bit between the path, we've got to make sure we've got plenty of soil in between, haven't we, Lee? Yeah. So make sure that the cement is packed up at the side. So what we don't want is grass sitting on more to do it because it's going to dry out. So there we go. There well, this is the new blade uh, going on. This, uh, this is from Elite Stone Tools, but it's a landscaping survival with Johnny Boy blade, and we're going to put it on here. This is the thing what I was talking about. All behind here, behind the blade, it all builds up, especially when using uh, a slate. There's a copious amount of dust, probably more than what you do with porcelain, actually, which is a bit strange. And you can see it building up on the back of the guard. There you go. Well, we've got that uh, marked out, and uh, we just went and got some all in now to uh, start laying the path and um, it's starting to rain.